Okay, so this is exam three, day one, looking at vessels and organs in the thoracic cavity. So first thing you want to do is kind of start at the neck, and I have two mink here that kind of show, well, two different examples of what you might be encountering here. On this mink, you can quickly see there's a blue vein that runs up, that's the internal jugular, and it runs kind of parallel with this little pink vessel, that's the common carotid. The little white structure you see running right with that common carotid, right here, that's the vagus nerve. So we've got the vagus nerve, the internal jugular, and the common carotid. Um, as you work your way on down, you can see right here, and you'll want to cut through the thoracic cavity, kind of pull the rib cage back, remove some of that thoracic wall. You can see the superior vena cava coming up and superior vena cava branches off like this in the two brachiocephalic veins. From the brachiocephalic veins we have this big pipe that branches up. That's the external jugular. Runs up. You can kind of see where it didn't perfuse well but that would have been its path. And then you have over here external jugular, kind of the same thing. Internal jugular once again. And then coming right off, you can see it best over here, you have the subclavian vein. Now, as far as the arteries go, they're underneath that superior vena cava and the brachiocephalics. So you want to come down, you're going to have this pericardial sac over the heart. You want to kind of take that, kind of pull it back. You have your lungs here. And you can see the right atrium. You can see the right ventricle. These are coronary vessels which makes this the left ventricle, and right here is the left atrium. This structure right here, that's the pulmonary trunk, and if we pull the um, right atrium back, right here we're actually looking at, right there, the superior, or the ascending aorta. Coming off that ascending aorta, right here is the brachiocephalic artery, which comes up in branches as the left common carotid, pull it up further, and the right common carotid, and it branches off again, can't see it here, we'll see it in this other mink, as the right subclavian. Working our way down, here's our left subclavian, which comes up, wraps around the thoracic cavity, perforates the thoracic wall, and becomes the axillary, then the brachial, and then deeper in the forearm, the radial arteries. The vein follows the same path. So there's the brachio, the uh, subclavian vein, axillary vein, and then it'll be brachial and radial. Now these little white fibers mixed in with some of these arteries like this, that's part of the brachial plexus. So you'll need to be able to identify that. All right, so we've got the pericardial sac. We looked at the structures of the heart. You have your diaphragm right there that you want to use as a border for your dissection. got your lungs. Now, come over here, different representation. Don't see a real well represented internal jugular. However, you can see where it would have come off. And so that would be internal jugular, external jugular, and there's the subclavian vein. Here's the superior vena cava that broke open, and it was kind of cut here. But that's good because we can see more of the subclavian artery. What we can see, there's the common carotid with the vagus nerve. And if you come clear on up here, as you kind of pull things over, you can see the external and the internal carotid. So it's common until it branches as external and internal. Over here's a salivary gland. You need to be able to identify that. Your trachea, so your trachea and your larynx. Now working on down, again, if we take that superior vena cava, pull it over, there's our brachiocephalic artery, brachiocephalic artery, left right common carotids, and then right here coming off, that's our right subclavian artery. Coming over here, you can see really clearly, there's the ascending aorta, there's the aortic arch, brachiocephalic artery, left subclavian, it again comes out as the axillary brachial radial. And then again, right and left atria, right and left ventricle, and there is the pulmonary trunk. Last structures we want to note is if you take that heart and lungs, kind of pull it up, you can see there's the aortic arch, there's the descending 
thoracic aorta and coming off of that right here and right here, those are little thoracic arteries. And that's it.